First look at Pixel Plus UI official ROM based on Android 11 running on the POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the official build of Pixel Plus UI ROM based on Android 11 running on the POCO X3 Pro. Now, as you can see, security patch is from June 2021. The kernel they are using is Ethereum kernel. SE Linux, of course, is set as enforcing. So this is how the ROM comes out of the box and you do have pixel launcher. So select is working without any issues. Screenshot also works and you have the option to delete the screenshot as well. If you press and hold on any application in your recents you get the option of app info split screen and pause the application other than that let us also have a look at the recents so yes the recents are pretty smooth then we can also have a look at the volume panel so this here is how the volume panel looks like as for the power menu this is how your power menu is going to look like the blur effect is working you of course have to enable the toggle in display settings then the easter egg cat games also works without any issues next up let us have a look at the quick settings panel so this here is the quick settings panel again blur and zoom effect of android 11 working without any issues and yes you do have a bunch of tiles which are available and some of the important ones here are the tile for FPS counter volume panel caffeine tile switching your data card the VPN tile and yes you do have a tile for AOD as well so let us enable that and see if AOD works yep AOD is working without any issues once you enable the tile in case you want to add more tiles you can of course add them and as you can see i do have the international variant which is why i do have the nfc tile over here next up let us also try out the screen recorder of android 11 which lets you record device audio and microphone at the same time but before that notice that the toggle buttons are a bit different and the ui does seem a bit rounded as well so the screen recording has started. Let us check if there is any lag in the UI in the applications when you are trying to record the screen and access your stuff at the same time. So me personally, I do not see any such lag. Now, once the recording is done, you can of course choose to share it and the option for notification history has been moved to the right hand side so that it is easier. Another thing I would like you to note is that we have set the refresh rate as 120 and the feature of dynamic refresh rate wherein it switches the refresh rate based on the content is working absolutely fine on this ROM. Then let us head over to settings and the first thing you will notice is that you do have a different UI in the settings. So here is the search bar settings on top in bold and you can of course swipe up and down let us go into network and internet tap on the wi-fi name go into wi-fi preferences here it is you do have the option of turning off your wi-fi automatically after whatever duration you choose over here so this is the feature of wi-fi timeout similarly if you go into connected devices you also have the same feature for bluetooth known as bluetooth timeout moving over to apps and notifications and herein let us tap on chrome go into permissions location so you have three different options for your location you also have the toggle to remove the permissions if the app is not used go into mobile data and wi-fi and you also have the option of per app network isolation so you can determine on a per app basis whether chrome has access to wi-fi data mobile data and a bunch of other options priority conversations is present and they work without any issues similarly for notifications once you enable notification history you can access it and bubbles also works but important thing to note over here is that whatsapp does not support android 11 bubbles right now next up 
moving over to pixelizer so you have some customizations over here as well for starters you have options in the bottom the first is status bar then you have quick settings lock screen and extras let us start with the status bar so of course double tap to sleep on the status bar sliding across the status bar for brightness control do you want to see the 4g icon instead of lte let us try out a few of those options so double tap to sleep on the status bar working double tap to wake also works double tap to sleep on the lock screen on the bottom half also works without any issues then you can configure your status bar icons so do you want to see the volt icon then what is the style of volt icon you are looking for do you want to see the voice over wi-fi icon and what is the style of the voice over wi-fi icon you want to see next up we have quick setting customizations so yes you do have a toggle to enable or disable your network speed and you can also choose a auto hide threshold next up is tinting your quick setting tiles so here are the different options which are available then you have lock screen customization so the first toggle is to force your fingerprint authentication wherein after a reboot you can unlock the device with your fingerprint me personally i do not recommend you enable this toggle then again double tap to sleep on the top third or bottom of lock screen lock icon do you want to see the lock icon on the lock screen or not do you want to see the status bar on the lock screen or not and you can also customize your screen of animation so let us give it a try that was the fade one and you can also change this to crt so that is the crt animation then you have extras so of course you can customize your power menu and you have toggles for all the options which you see on your screen so we do have emergency power and advanced if i go into advanced this is my advanced restart menu working without any issues and of course you do have your payment methods also available if you are using google pay then you can swap the order of recents and back this of course will work if you are using the three button navigation then you have your in call vibration options so you have toggles for vibrate on connect call waiting or disconnect and yes you have customization for your volume panel as well right now we are using the tiled style you can of course change this to say the compact one and there it is that is how the compact style looks like next up we have battery so of course you do have your thermal profiles which can be chosen on a per app basis now if you are using your thermal profile as gaming or benchmark you will also get the option of touch control so you can for starters enable game mode for this application and then you can configure your touch response sensitivity and the touch resistant area next up you have a toggle to see the battery percentage battery saver right now is turned off but the important point to note over here is that you do get the pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver along with adaptive battery and then you also have smart cutoff so here then you can stop and start your charging based on the battery temperature and then you also have smart charging so this is where then you can start and stop your charging based on the battery percentage then you have some stats about the battery so last full charge and the screen usage since last full charge next up we have display so in display you can of course change your brightness level you do have a toggle for dark theme and of course with android 11 you can configure your dark theme to turn on and off at a specific time adaptive brightness is present you have your status bar icon tuner as well so you can choose what all icons you want to see in your status bar live display is also there you have a toggle for reading mode working without any issues and you also have color calibration so you can change the rgbs and in case you mess up use the reset button unfortunately Unfortunately, you do not have the option of hue, saturation, contrast, etc. in live display. Moving over to styles and wallpapers. So let us go into clocks and as you can see, you do have a pretty big list of lock screen clocks and most of them are working. Then you can change the screen timeout as well. Go into rotation settings. So you have a master toggle and then you can choose the degrees at which you want to rotate your display. Go into colors. You can choose between natural, boosted, saturated and adaptive then you can of course configure your minimum refresh rate so you can go from 30 up till 1 
120 so right now I have set the minimum as 60 and the maximum as 120 then you can also change the font size display size changing the DPI is also present go into lock screen and you can of course add a text on your lock screen do you want to see the music visualizer along with the media cover art then in case you want to enable aod you have a toggle for that as well double tap to check the phone wake screen for new notification go into advanced and this is your ambient display so herein you can configure your pickup hand wave and pocket then you also have the double tap to wake which we already checked working without any issues you can of course enable blurs in the ui so this is your blur when you access the power menu or you access your quick settings panel then you can force full screen applications to ignore the notch space prevent accidental wake-ups and display cutout is present but unfortunately the options here are kind of useless for now because none of them actually hide the display and while we were talking we did catch a cat so android 11 easter egg bubbles working without any issues of course as mentioned earlier whatsapp does not support bubbles and before i forget if you press and hold on the empty space on your home screen go into styles and wallpapers here and you do have the pixel 5 style ui and if you go into curated culture you have all the pixel exclusive wallpapers which google pushes out like women's day earth day then you also have the june drop wallpapers so all of these options are present and if you go into style from here you do have some baked in themes go into custom you can of course change the font so you do have a pretty big list for the font then you can also change the icons accent color can also be changed i do not see the option for custom accent color and then you can also change your icon shape once that is done give it a name apply it and you should be good to go next up we have sound so in sound you can of course change the different volume levels then you can also link and delink your ring and notification volume going to advanced you have adaptive sound as well now this is a pixel 5 exclusive feature feel free to pause and read what it does other than that you have the option of using a different ringtone for your two sims then you have toggles for all the different options now you do have a toggle to enable or disable the irritating screenshot sound then you also have Dirac sound enhancer baked in along with the option to clear the speaker next up we have security so in security you have all the options which you can expect from a custom rom so you have your fingerprint working absolutely fine super fast face unlock is present of course not as secure as a fingerprint but it is also super fast and with respect to app locker that is also present and you can unlock your applications using either the pin or your fingerprint or your face for that matter next up we have the option of system and herein we do have gestures so you have your gesture of pressing the power button twice to open the camera go into system navigation you can choose between three different options two button three button or gestures customize the gesture settings you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge you can configure the dead zone you can change the gesture bar length and you can of course hide it as well then you can change the gesture bar radius as well in case you want to make it thick or thin do you want the haptic feedback for the back gesture and you can also hide the back arrow in case you want to then you have prevent ringing so here then you can press power and volume up to either put the phone to vibrate or mute as long as the master toggle is enabled three finger screenshot is present then you can customize your power menu do you want to see your cards and passes and cards and passes is this payment method thing similarly you can also customize your device controls which does include your cat controls and any smart devices which are connected to your phone would show up over here as well next up you have the adaptive playback feature again feel free to pause and read what adaptive playback does then you have quick torch so here it is when the screen is off long press the power button to enable the torch and this feature i think is broken yep so the feature is broken i do feel the vibration but the torch is not coming on then you can also use your 
volume rockers for playback control if the screen is turned off. Let us test out the three finger screenshot feature to see if it is working or not and yes there it is three finger screenshot is working and in fact you also have long screenshot which also works without any issues next up let us talk about the apps which are baked into the rom so the only apps which i installed were magisk and your youtube everything else is baked into the rom so you do have some pixel plus ui wallpapers and the application does have a good collection Pulse Music is the default music player. Gcam 7.3 by Urnix is also present and sorry if I mispronounced the name. Other than that, of course I have installed Magisk to check for safety net. Do note device is not rooted right now and safety net is passing out of the box. Let us also open the Google Play Store and here we can also go into the Play Store settings. Play Protect certification device is certified. This means your banking apps should work without any issues. Now, in terms of YouTube media playback, everything works absolutely fine. Live caption works, picture in picture works. Of course, for picture in picture to work, either you need to have YouTube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for YouTube premium. The feature of variable refresh rate is also working without any issues on this build in terms of google photos here it is you can see on your screen right now what is happening so yes you do have that specific feature which a lot of you might be looking for let us also try to edit a picture of my favorite football star wait for this loading bar to finish going to adjust so yes you do have the feature of portrait light and it works without any issues important point to note over here is that portrait light will only work on human objects so if I'm trying to edit this picture of my chicken friend over here no matter how many times you try to edit it it will not give you the option of portrait light with respect to the assistant lady Google assistant is present and it works with both the screen turned on and the screen turned off next thing we can check for is the app opening animations to see if you have any lags any jitters in the UI nothing like that recent pretty smooth no lags no jitters over here as well try to access the google feed look for any lag any jitter nope 120 fps working like a boss on the build switch between a few applications again no issues with that respect either i can switch between the applications without any issues no jitters and no lags in that respect either so what is the final take on pixel plus ui well the only concern i have is with respect to the idle battery drain and I think it was four or five percent for me overnight that is the only concern which I have and that was with AOD turned off so AOD was not on I think it needs some improvement in the idle battery drain other than that most of the features are working the ROM is smooth most of the features which you expect from Poco X3 Pro the variable refresh rate the fast charging all those features are working without any issues and there it is peeps that was our first look at pixel plus ui based on android 11 running on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you